sunglasses, it's cop delivered. I'm gonna do a little unboxing of the key collaboration with Desi Perkins. I love them. They're so cool. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Monday the 19th and yes, I'm still wearing what I wore from last vlog. It's already 2.40 in the afternoon and I have been literally doing nothing all day. If you guys remember the problem with my camera lens, I broke it and basically Best Buy said I wasn't going to get it until way later and I was just like, I can't wait that long. My repair would have gotten to me faster than the lens itself from Best Buy and I was just like, okay, that just doesn't make sense. So today, I was like, oh, BH Photo. Like, I know that. I've ordered from that many times before. And so they had the lens in stock. They said it would get to me on Wednesday. Literally went, or actually Tuesday. I paid for extra shipping because I'm just so tired of this lens right now. Um, so I paid for extra shipping to get here tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. So that's pretty amazing. I hope it gets here that, at that time. There's always a solution to your problems. You just have to think of every single way to fix it because obviously I didn't. I could have done that way long time ago, um, but I guess it just hit me now. And this tripod, it's the Gorilla Pod, I think. It It's just not as sturdy. And once like one little socket comes out, it's just so loose. And the reason why the camera dropped is because these little gorilla pods were so loose and honestly that's really not my fault i've been using it like normal um so i had to order a new tripod so these things when they actually pop off they're really they become really loose that's why i just popped this one off because it was already popped off and really loose but anyway so my new one has magnetic things right here so i could like put like all three of them on like a pole and it's supposed to like hold up which i don't know how strong they are so we'll see about that if it again gets really loose then i'm just probably gonna have to return it because that sucks and i'm probably just gonna have to get like a normal tripod just like the three leg ones but i really like these because you can like mold it if you have to like put it on like a log then you can like you know mold the legs to the log so i really like it because of that but honestly it's just like not worth the risk because it gets so loose and lenses are not very cheap so but this morning i was planning out like my little christmas party thing i don't even know if i can call it that but i'm just having like a girls night on wednesday so that will be fun um we're gonna play like we and stuff like that maybe watch a movie i don't know but we're definitely gonna eat a lot of food that's like my favorite thing to do with my friends is just eat actually that's my favorite thing to do with anyone so i said we should do like a potluck dinner so i think i want to make oreo balls because the ones that laura made were so good so i think i'm gonna do that and i might do something else but i'm not really sure um i'll probably just provide like drinks like soda and stuff like that but yeah so i'm really excited for that and especially because it's a reason to put makeup on my face so i really need to still unpack i mean i unpacked a lot of stuff but I still have a big suitcase and just like a couple of bags like I have a bag full of shoes and I have no idea where to put things I just found out that my sunglasses got just got delivered so I'm about to go get them look how gloomy it is today it's disgusting I just want to go back to sunshine state well it's not in here oh I can see it on my porch <laughs> I'm gonna do a little unboxing of the key collaboration with Desi Perkins she's like one of my favorite youtubers ever I'm actually starting to like her vlogs a lot more than her actual beauty videos I have phases where I'm really into beauty videos and if I am that I'm so into hers because they're so high quality and just she puts in so much effort into them um, but if I'm not into beauty videos, then I'm really loving vlogs like Aspen and Parker. He Australia. I was really hoping for the clear cases that they just announced, um, but I knew I wasn't going to get them because I think they're only sold with like the normal glasses, not like the Desi ones. Excuse you. Um, because the Desi ones actually had their own case. Uh, okay, so it comes like this. I got the black ones, so I'll show you these. I hope I like them. I don't know. I was just kind of like hesitant. They're flat frames, so they're not, I mean, I guess there is a little bit of a curve. They're mostly flat. I love them. I, I feel like I knew I would. I have the 
regular black aviators they're called the vivians that, that was like my first purchase from key ever and i actually had to wait two months for them because i think they were like sold out or like they got back order or something that i had to wait so long i like put in my email so right when i got the email i bought them and now they're like never sold out i think they're the same size as the vivian ones but this is just like this may be a tad bit bigger. this is what it looks like I really like them. I love oversized glasses. So if you don't, then these are definitely not the ones for you because they're they're pretty oversized. This is actually a really nice case. I thought it was going to be like the regular um, cases. This just feels a lot thicker and it's nicer quality. It's like leather kind of feeling. I've scratched up my Vivian ones so badly. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not take care of my sunglasses very well since these are special edition like limited time sunglasses i i really need to like keep them can you not keep them safe okay so the next ones i got are the gold ones and i just thought this was like kind of a unique pair but it would also go with like a lot of things this looks like very silver on camera but it's gold in person they're so cool they remind me of like <laughs> the silver like aviator sunglasses that you would get like for three dollars at the gas station you know when you were in like high or middle school <laughs> i didn't get the blue ones just because i didn't think i would wear them as much as i would the other ones i've been wanting to get these for a really long time at first i wanted the black ones but then i was like maybe i should just get the gold but then desi came back with them just now and i was like Oh my god like am i really gonna get both yes i am so i literally ordered it like right then and there so i couldn't change my mind but sometimes you just gotta go with your gut and i'm really happy i got both because now i have two new sunglasses and my vivian ones are like almost like dead so i'm glad i got them weird combinations part three i think just kidding maybe part two the first one yesterday i was or the day before i was eating raspberries with hum hummus trust me on this it's actually really good Next, we have the lemon chocolate and raspberries, and that's really good. Nish is giving me my blueberry lemonade in a wine glass to make me feel 21. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. So fancy. We also have some chicken, what? mushrooms, and tomatoes with pesto and cheese. So I just got off the phone with Ryan, and he actually left his dry cleaning in my car last night. So he needs me to come bring it over. And he said that we could probably go like ice skating tonight. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna probably go to the Avalon, hopefully. I mean, it probably will be a little bit more expensive, but I feel like the ambiance is so much nicer than just going to like the cooler, which is like, like the actual ice skating rink where people play hockey and stuff like that. I feel like that's not as fun because you could do that year round, you know? But the Avalon is like decorated and there's shops around it and eateries and stuff like that. So I think that'd be a lot more fun. And we did that last year, but I do not know how to ice skate to save my life. Last year, I couldn't let go of Ryan. Like I just couldn't. And it worked out well because I never fell, but I did not want to put on makeup. That's why I was like, can we just do it tomorrow? But I was dragging my butt out of my bed finally so that's good i guess so i just went to ryan's house to pick him up and his grandma gave me some lasagna so i literally took a plate to go i mean this is like my second dinner but you know if grandma gives you food you have to eat it look how cute this place is oh there's like an onward reserve thing you know, Charles is here. Honestly. avalon glowed up there's lululemon over there banana republic there's anthropology can we shop first and then ice skate? Cause they close at nine and oh, ice skate. Happy? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I'm so bundled up. I have like a long sleeve shirt. I have a turtleneck sweater. I have this weird jacket that I used to like that I think it looks really weird. And then I have just one Beanie. pair of leggings. Hey. Here, one more. Oh, looks like she has a beanie. I'm going to tell you her hair. And then I have this blanket scarf. It's black and gray. Look how nice Avalon is. People who aren't from Georgia. We're about to go into West Elm to Dream About Our Future. Kids are going to Dream About Our Future couches and stuff. Look how pretty this bed is. We're 
nice thing about winter is having all these layers on and then actually going into stores and like going into places and getting really hot. Brian's OTD. The first I have this new era hat I got for Christmas two years ago. Very warm. The G's like off center. I know. Okay. I have this Patagonia. And I have this field and scream jacket over. So what is that? Field and scream. I have a barber, but it's in the dry cleaner right now, so I wore this. Put them on. Put them on. Can barely see out of them. Put down a little more to her. We're on the swings in Avalon, and these are always so packed, but I guess it's a weekday night, so no one's really here, but it's really pretty. And like literally, everyone's always taking up the swings, the fire pit, there's a fire pit over there, and it's really pretty. And there's Cafe Intermezzo. My parents used to take me, but I was in downtown Atlanta, but now they have one here, so we're gonna go check it out and see what kind of desserts they have, and maybe like what time they're open, because we might get something. Are you excited to ice skate? Oh. <laughs> I just put on an extra layer of socks. It's kind of wet in there, so it's getting cold. I went on the ice, and then they called the Zamboni. I only know what that is from the Ice Princess movie. No, what? The Ice Princess movie, it was like on Disney Channel or whatever. Zamboni guy. Oh, yeah. I suck at this. I suck. You having fun? Yeah. Ryan thinks he's a pro over there. <laughs> You think you're a pro, don't you? No. <laughs> so I just got home and I was craving something sweet, so I made myself some hot chocolate. And it looks so yummy, yummy, yummy. I had so many of the like big marshmallows, so I just like ripped them up and put them in my hot chocolate because I got the hot chocolate without marshmallows because I was just being not smart. I'm using my mug that my dad got me. I think he got me this last Christmas, actually. It's from Anthropology. It's like one of those basic letter cups.